I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is the fourth anniversary event in Abyssrium. It's kind of a mess, so it's very, very, very complicated, so please pay attention. Keep in mind there are multiple interlocking parts that all must be completed separately, and it's really weird, and you just kind of have to figure out as you go along. You'll get stuck on a thing, and you'll have to look at the other things. So, <laughs> it's going to be a little weird. Um, you'll notice the UI has gotten many new cluttery pieces that I hate all of them. Like the, the, the free thing is now animated and the little otter pops out of the box, which is so annoying. It's also a lie, by the way. None of this crap is free. Um, there's also this bingo thing, which the bingo board is required for several of the unlocks. The unlocks are written just right here. As always, they're also written in my guide. Where's that bingo quest? Here we go. The written... Um, the written guide was completed way before I did this video. So as always, written guide I highly recommend looking for first. It's always finished first, and then I do a video. Um, but the bingo board, it'll take you a while to complete, but you need to cre create bingo lines, which is like, you know, if you haven't played bingo, it's just, well, it's a line. So you just gotta complete a continuous line. And the one big problem with the bingo is that one of these is a paid-only thing, which really sucks. Um, this is the only time that paying for anything, like, you know, there's the event-only creatures, but you can't get the um, Ice Fairy here without paying, and it's like, all of the other stuff is non-paying. It's like, just either make it an in-app purchase or don't. Like, requiring an in-app purchase but pretending it's not is so weird. So, yeah, there's four fairies in this event. They're all obtained in totally different ways. Um, the Ice Fairy, as we saw there, is complete the bingo, which the bingo, that stuff is all written in-game. It's in my written guide too, but just refer to what you need in-game. It's easy enough. The Fall Fairy is either going to be the easiest or the hardest to get. She is in the Luck Shell or Big Luck Shell, um, and that costs pearls to do. What I did to get the Fairy by pure luck, of course, um, if you go to the Hiding Fish, that's this clam menu right here, if you do Hiding Fish, these... Um, this indicator here and this one here, this is the luck shell and the big luck shell, right? So you get quote unquote free spins after doing so many, um, spins on the lottery fish. Those can give you the fall fairy, which is what I did. Otherwise you have to go into the fish menu and this, and you have to do the luck shell or the big luck shell. The big luck shell is very slightly more efficient in terms of success rate versus the cost, but the luck shell does work too. Um, and for the purposes of this thing, you have to do two big luck shell pulls anyway. So if you're super, super lucky, you might get her in the first two pulls and then you don't have to worry about anything because you have to do two for this anyway. And unfortunately two pulls does mean either, you know, do these or 400 pearls, unfortunately. Um, so that's two of the fairies. The summer fairy is from last year's anniversary t quest tank thing. Um, basically, you have to just complete the anniversary tank the same way it was before, but there is also a new quest which we will get to at the end of the video to complete, and then you can get the Summer Fairy. The nice thing about the Summer Fairy is that you can make infinite of them. You can make as many as you want in the, in the anniversary tank, and then you can put them in the main tank. Fall Fairy, you have to get more of them through the Luck Shell, so... Yeah, unlikely. Uh, Winter Fairy, you only get one, and Spring Fairy, you only get one. To get the Spring Fairy... You have to do, you have to fuse um, the big expensive fish from the prior events. Um, that's pretty expensive. Also, this this is an insult. Collect all fourth anniversary fairies. To get the fall fairy alone, you could easily spend over 3,000 pearls. What's your reward for getting all of these, which includes an in app purchase? You know, thousands of pearls, hours and hours of effort. Um, 100 pearls. It's. <laughs> very insulting so that's the bingo that's the fairy thing um, as always there is a big fish quest that you have to complete all of these steps of um, but there is also an expand quest which I unfortunately already finished every event always has an expand quest right the expand quest is always a bunch of things that give these expand items and um, there's a little icon here below the clam and just click that and it'll show you what you need to do um, those are required for several of the regular fish. Oh, and hey, let me say, if my guides help you out, please check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash sirtaptap. Hello. Um, it's in the description of all of my videos as well. 
Um, you can support me even for just a buck a month. It really helps. And it's cheaper than the in-app purchases in this game, <laughs> I'll note. So check that out. Or you can be a YouTube member. Just click the join button below the video and check that out. That's the same benefits as Patreon, basically. That's right, Parker. Hi. Yes, you're a chatty boy today. Hi. Yes. All right. Hiding fish. I'm sorry. This video will be longer than the other ones because this is just a really complicated event. All right. So as always with an event, the first thing you want to do, go to the palette menu. Go to the very bottom here of the costume. You're going to buy the costume here. You're going to buy, most importantly, the die. The die is very cheap. Stop doing that. Um, the die is cheap. And the die unlocks the Hermit Crab, which is absolutely essential. You can't do these events without the Hermit Crab. It just doesn't work. Um, so buy this very buy this first. Sweet and sour dessert. That doesn't sound very good. Um, stop it, mystery chest. I hate the mystery chest so much. Oh, okay. Ear pain, thanks. Um, anniversary Sea Festival, I'll get the theme too. Just buy all of those. They only cost like 2,000 um candies which is like literally less than one fish um so once you get those you get the hermit crab you have to click the bubbles above the fish i don't know why so many people struggle with bubbles about what what it means to have bubbles above the fish there's literally bubbles over the fish and you tap them i get questions about that literally every single video and <laughs> i think what happens is the events are so bad all of the old school players quit and so that every single video i'm just constantly getting people that have never played the game before and what sucks is if you've never played the game before, you're almost guaranteed to not be able to complete the events. So, <laughs> sorry for that. But yes, you upgrade the Hermit Crab. Uh, upgrade the Hermit Crab as fast as you can. It's really important. It costs some currency, but it's worth it, trust me. So, on to the fish. Candy Clownfish. That's just free. In fact, let me go... Let's go in here so we get a good look at them. Candy Clownfish, look at him. Look, that's adorable. I like the candy count fish a lot. The cheap fish usually are pretty boring, but this guy, I like this guy. There's no hidden unlock. This is just the basic one. Candy pop tetra, own five candy clown fish, not very difficult. There's no hidden fish this time, except for in the old event, which by the way, in the old event, I'm not gonna talk about those unlocks because I already have a video on all of that. So check out that video for the old tank. But we'll talk about the old tank later. Um, Find candy clownfish. And I like how the only arguable reason to remove hidden fish is to make the game more clear, right? And so they add like 15 different things that you have to do. Literally five entirely separate like lists of crap to complete, um, right? And it's so complicated and all of the steps depend on one another. So you can't just do all of one thing, do all of one thing. No, it's all mix and match and crap. It's so confusing and it would have been so nice to just have regular hidden fish and not have like 15 different to-do lists. And anyway, this is Pretzel Spade Fish. He's not that amazingly designed, I gotta say. I love pretzels, and he's all right. I give him an all right out of 10. Just create three Jester Idols, which, oh, I'm gonna get so many comments about that. To create old fish, you go click the, the past clown fish thing. This is how I know that nobody that asks comments has ever played the game before, because every single event has been the exact same for over a year now. And people still ask, how do I make, the, what is an Aloha Dumbo tap tap? What is it? By the way, shout outs to the Hermit Crab looking like a big turd with some sprinkles on it. Good design, quality design. Um, but yes, if you want to make the Spring Fairy or the past event fish, they're in this tab. They're always in this tab and you're always going to need to do this. Even if you made them last year, you have to remake them this year. So that's how you do that thing. Um... Swiss Roll Sea Slug. Not bad, not great. I like his antenna. His antenna being those little chocolate tubers. Those are cute. His shell, quote unquote, just looks glued on though. It doesn't look like it's part of his body. But it's all right. Um, that you just use 500 seaweed. So you'll need to do that for fusion fish. Fusion fish costs seaweed, which is dumb. Um, the hiding, the luck shell thing here, or the hiding fish cost currency. Just use one of those. You will, uh, you'll get that pretty easy. The donut Dumbo. Don oh, donut sea pig, excuse me. Look at him. A round boy. One of the roundest, one might say. I'm fascinated to see what his skeletal structure looks like. 
probably terrifying. But yes, that is the Dumbo Sea Pig. I like how he looks like a donut, even upside down. It looks like pink frosting. Now it looks like white frosting. It's, it's pretty good. I give it a pretty good out of 10. Create 10 circus event fish. So circus event, uh, you'll notice in March, the circus event didn't repeat when we did the retro thing. That's because circus event is here for some reason. I guess just because the old anniversary fish are in the anniversary tank. Which is, by the way, let me just point out, what's the point of anniversary, what's the point of event tanks if we're not going to do event tanks anymore? I really think the devs have no idea, especially Flaro Games since they took over. They seem to have no idea what to do with the game, and they're like, oh, we don't like this feature, so we're going to stop using it. It's like, no, we like that feature. No! Hidden fish bad. It's like, oh, okay, that's, that was like the only fun game, part of the gameplay, because the rest is just watching ads, but okay. Anyway. Croissant crab, create three jester cowfish, which again, that's a past event fish that'll be in the hermit crab menu. This guy is 99% croissant, 1% crab. He looks like a, a like a fever dream. Like you're you're eating a thousand croissants and then they start crawling away with from you on tiny little legs. Are you feeling it now, croissant crab? Soft serve cuttlefish. They had exactly this same idea, but it was a cake, and I gotta point that out. But, um, it doesn't look too bad. It does look tasty, but it probably tastes like salt water and terrible, so, you know. Yeah. Um, create three bingo lines, which again, that's just the bingo thing we talked about. Just complete three lines. You will infuriatingly have to complete, like, over 80% of the bingo before you get a single line, more or less. <laughs> that That's what I and several people encountered, because they're placed in such a way that the, the hardest ones to do prevent you from getting almost any lines. Um, sausage roll parrotfish, again, very easy one. Share three photos of soft serve cuttlefish. It's a very... This isn't really how... Hot... Is this supposed to be a hot dog, or... I guess sausage roll, but I've... It's a very short sausage. I mean, I shouldn't sausage shame, but that's a short sausage. Is a sausage roll just like a hot dog, but with the stuff on the top? I don't think I've ever eaten a sausage roll, to be totally honest. Macaron turtle. Um, there he is. I like his top shell. His bottom shell isn't very macaron, though. I, I, like, the, I like the top one better. It's very... Look at that. I always thought macarons look better than they taste. I, I've never been impressed by one, but they look very cute. Um, and he is like the goo. I will point out his body is the goo. The cream, I guess, but let's call it goo. Um, create three jester fogs. Again, a boring unlock. Use the use the old event fish. And the infuriating thing about these um, the past event fish thing, when you create a past event fish, it removes it from this tank. It removes it from your counter. So if you're trying to level up the hermit crab, and you have to make three new fish, guess what? You have three less fish to upgrade the hermit crab with. Guess what? You have three less fish to get the ice cream whale. Um, and it's really annoying. Plus, not to mention bouncing between all of the menus on its own is really annoying. Like I said, you have to complete this fish list. This fish list, that's two. Complete the bingo lines, that's three. Complete the fairy things, that's four. Complete um, the dessert quest, that's five. And complete the old event tank, which is six. Um, oh, and seven, actually the seven, guys, the seven menus. This seven, if you include the, um, what should be here, the, um, expand quest that I already kind of finished. So, yeah, seven menus to complete. None of them, you can't even do, like, one at a time. It's so, it's so silly. Baby cookie killer whale. So, is it a baby cookie, or is it a baby killer whale cookie killer? And does it kill cookies, or does it kill whales? I like its color scheme, though. Um, I could, it has like old man eyebrows. I think that's supposed to be the cream, but it looks like old man eyebrows. It reminds me of that old man in Family Guy, and that's not a good look. I do like the hair accessory though, the cake and the, the Oreos, that's good. Anyway, pretty good out of 10. Um, take three photos of Circus Trainee Cuttlefish, which again, that's a past event fish. You only have to make one for that though. Pancake Ray? Is pancakes really dessert? I mean, they're cakes, but it's more of a breakfast item to me. But uh, he's interesting. He's one of those interesting ones where, like, I don't think he looks bad exactly, but it doesn't... It doesn't feel like it fits in this game. I don't know. 
It feels very weird against the rest of the fish. Anyway, create three Jester Dumbos again. Let's just create fish from the circus event. Frappe Dolphin is like a glass condom full of goo. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. I guess it's like a glass, but like, I don't know. I do like the look of it. It looks very Vaporwave. Um, I'd give it a Vaporwave out of 10. Like, look at the, the colors and the goo. I like that. But it looks like if you pet it, it would like shatter and like cause fatal bleeding. So that's, you know, look, don't touch, I guess. Uh, place Cupcake House extension two times. So that, unfortunately, the Cupcake House is a pretty expensive thing. You have to complete the expand quest to unlock it. And then you have to buy a second one, annoyingly. Um, where is it even? Yeah, it's in here. It's another 100, I think. Yeah, it's 100. And also, these things are freaking huge. I had to completely clear off an expand tile to be able to place it. So if you can't place it, you'll have to clean up your tile a little bit. And as you'll notice, as I'm explaining this, I have to constantly bounce around because this event is just so unnecessarily complicated. And it wouldn't even be that bad if, like I said, if you just had one checklist, go down the checklist, complete it, go down a second checklist. No, you have to do all of these are interconnected. Lemon Cake Shark, I like a lot. Um, he's too expensive. He's 18000 He costs as much as the whale. But um, I like him. I like that his fin is a lemon wedge. That's adorable. I like that he's got the, like, cream stripe down the middle. If you need a porn name, cream stripe is uh, is available. Um, complete seven bingo lines, which, again, you're going to complete 95% of the things. Literally every slot but one must be finished to do seven. And if you don't do the in-app purchase thing, you have to complete all of the other ones to get this boy. So just keep that in mind. Ice Cream Whale, who I guess is named because he looks like he got pooped out through one of those soft serve ice cream machines. Why are you like this game? I'm sorry, my game is crapping itself. <laughs> sorry about that. Stop that. Um, own 13 species of new event fish. I'm gonna mute it for a second. Why is it doing that? Yeah, you just need to own 13. That's all of the new event fish above it in the list, plus 120 new event fish. And a confusing thing about this boy, for some reason, is is battery saver on or something? Let me check something. No, where's my? Let's turn save power on. I guess I don't know why it's being like that. Weird. I have one of the most powerful commercial processes you can get, and it's still. Flipping out on this game. That's Abyssrium, though. That's just Abyssrium. Um, the infuriating thing about the whale is that I thought it was glitched because I looked here and I have all the I have all thirteen species and there's a red X here. But the thing is, there's two unlock requirements and there's only one X. So it's because I don't have 120 events fish. So they have to complete both of them. Um, and then there's the feather mask cuttlefish, which I guess I should look at these in the 3D so I can review them. I think as far as whales go, this one's pretty all right. I like that it's not just a whale with crap on the top of it. It is a whale with crap on top of it, but it's also pooped out of one of those, you know, McDonald's ice cream machine things. So that's all right. I give it an all right out of 10. Cake Town Nessie, that's the big one. I like the idea here, but the, the little crustules of, um, I guess those are sprinkles. They look like lesions they look like <laughs> he has like cake le leprosy which is very bad if your cake has leprosy you have to throw it out immediately unfortunately um but i do like the town on his back we can't even get full detail on it unfortunately because it's so so freaking big but uh yeah he doesn't look too bad um this is the event fish the you know the quest fish you have to complete the quest to get him as always um then there's the fairies Spring Fairy? I like the, the transparent, like, the butt of the dress here. What do you call that? I guess the skirt? Is it a skirt if it's still part of a dress? I, I don't know. But yes, the, the little particle effects are neat too. I think all of them have it. I don't know why we have seasonal theme for the anniversary, by the way. The anniversary isn't really seasonal. It's the summer. And only the summer. Or, you know, winter if you're in Southern Hemisphere. Um, Summer Fairy, again, get from the prior event tank. 
So he's got a sunflower theme. I like that. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm a sucker for pigtails. Are they pigtails if they're like braided thingers? Or is that like a different thing? Tap Tap doesn't know fashion, episode 4000. He's got the sun hat too. I like the summer fairy. Fall fairy? That's your that's your hippie girlfriend from high school. Um, I really like the color scheme here. I like the I'm a sucker for the gradient fades like that. That's good. Um, the hair is good too. She also looks the most like a fairy, I guess. You would expect a fairy to look like a hippie, but with wings, right? Um, that's the luck shell thing again. We already explained that. Like I said, the the, the petals are kind of neat. They look they don't look very fall like. I guess the colors kind of, but. And the winter fairy. The winter fairy looks like a penguin, which I guess makes sense, but just just, just pointing it out. She also looks the least like the other fairies. I guess it's because she's so pale. But it almost looks like she was meant for something different compared to the other ones. I do like the sparkle tight tights though. That's neat. He's got the little sparkle effects. The fairy designs I do like. I just don't like that this one is literally it's a paid fish that doesn't say it's a paid fish. It's weird. Also the the in-app purchase thing, anything except subscriptions work, so just a one dollar purchase. Which I don't even know how you can spend just one dollar in this, but I was told there I was told if you just buy a one dollar thing, it works. I don't see any one dollar purchase things though, because it looks like they got rid of the auto harvest. So maybe there is not a one dollar purchase. Maybe I've been japed, I don't know. Is there a one dollar thing in here? Oh yeah, super package sale. So I guess that, if you want to, uh, a lot of people are boycotting just in-app purchases and stuff because of that. Just because it's like, um, why is there an event thing that requires you to pay stuff and it's not just an event fish? Like why? Why not? Like there's already a paid fish. You could have two paid fish if you wanted, but like why is it pretending to be? Why is it pretending to be part of the quest? That's what I don't like. If they just had two in-app purchase fish, I wouldn't care. But to me, to integrate it into the main quest, that's the uncool part. That's really not cool. I just had to, you know, it was, it was so uncool I had to point it out twice. Uh, played 15 minutes in this video alone. So like I said, it's going to be a long guide because, you know what? We're not even finished here because to get, there's two more things we have to look at. Thanks, Parker. Thanks for breaking my house. Um, to get the Feather Mask Cuttlefish, you have to own 10 Circus Event Fish, which it doesn't mean own. You have to make one of each. You have to just basically go down this list, make one of these, one of these, one of these. If you made them last year, it doesn't count. You have to do it again. So just go down the list, make one of these until you unlock this boy. I think there's more than 10 fish here. So you don't have to make the most expensive ones. Just start at the top of the list, make one of each, and then this boy comes out. And you have to spend 100,000 currency to buy one of these. And then you buy two Feather Mask Cuttlefish. Then, the weird part, you go into the free section to make the fairy, which I don't know why she is in here. The other fairies aren't. There's two. There's only two fairies out of the four in here. It's so weird. Um, but then you can fuse in here. It costs 100 krill, you know, a bunch of fusion materials, unfortunately. That's right, Parker. And um, then you can make the Spring Fairy. You can only make one Spring Fairy. And then, Cake Town Nessie. So, Cake Town Nessie. Um, where is it? Cake Town Nessie. Here we go. Um, cool Summer. The first one is just tap five bubbles over Ice Pop Tetra. Extremely easy, right? Um, second one, you have to do these in order, by the way. You have to complete the first event, or the first thing, before the next stuff counts, right? So... Do these as soon as you can. Um, tap five bubbles over Ice Pop Tetra, then you complete that. You go into the menu and complete it. Sweet Festival, place a white chocolate cookie expand item. Um, which again, that's from the expand quest thing. I already completed that so you can't see it on screen, but you'll see it on your screen. Um, that's just, it, once you unlock it, you have to place it from the menu. So you just go in here. Hi, Parker. Um, and then you can, you know, Press the uh, cardboard box button and kind of place it around here, like... Come on. Come on! This UI is so screwy. I don't have space. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, Donut Love, which is a good name. If you need... If you need another porn name, there you go. 
by five donut sea pigs. Place two donut tree expand items. The weird thing about this one is that you can place the um, you can place the donut tree and rotate it, and it works. And you just rotate the tree a couple times, like you poop it down here. Uh, it's not gonna let me place things. You poop it down here, and then you um, rotate it a couple times, and then you take out like any other kind of expand item, and you, you place it down, and then it just gives it to you. It's buggy. The Cupcake House one does not have that bug, so you do have to buy two of those, but that'll save you 80, 80 pearls, so try it out. Shouldn't be too hard. They might patch it, but 80 pearls free if you can get it to work. Um, next one is Dessert Ingredient Preparation. Use 200 krill. Krill doesn't seem like a dessert item to me, but I'm not a whale, so I don't know. Um, now, using krill, you just have to make hiding fish or fusion fish again. Um, making the cuttlefish thing, or making the spring fairy will count towards that too. Um, and then this last one that you can already see that I'm on, um, that is just use 500 macarons, which you'll have to do to create these five ice cream whales. So create five ice cream whales, and then own one spring fairy. So the spring fairy is the only one that you have to make to make Nessie. I like that Nessie's head is cut off in the current thing. Poor Nessie, rest in peace. Um, to get the spring fairy, um, that's the fusion one. That's the one we have to get this boy. So you do have to do all of the last of you have to do you have to get the big event fish from the last thing, and three ice cream whales, five ice cream whales, and it's, it's a very expensive event. I I don't know the exact total price. But I'm gonna guess, um, geez, I'm gonna guess almost one like B of currency, uh, probably like 0.5 B maybe. I don't know. I haven't done the most expensive part of it yet, and I've already spent 0.2 B, which this is not billion by the way. Search Sir Tap Tap Macro if you want to figure out how I got this money or the currency. Um, it's B means millions in this game. It's kind of confusing. Um, Anyway, that's, gosh, we're so over time. And you know what? There's one more thing to explain. The past anniversary thing, a whole separate event. So to get the summer fairy, you have to go in here. And this is a whole separate event that is going to take a lot of time and absolutely does not depend on the progress in the other tank at all. And what has happened in here is... Um, Hold on, I have to go to open up my own guide here. Go to Summer Fairy's Blessing. There we go. So, I'm not going to explain this tank too much because I already have an event quest guide on this previously because this is just last year's anniversary event with all kinds of crap shoved into it. So, you have to complete everything, absolutely everything that the prior video shows you how to do. And there is a new event quest here Oh, there's a typo. I'll have to fix that. Um, you have to reach 5 CD anniversary tank vitality, which is a lot. This, by the way, so uh, this tank, a friend of mine, um, super ordinary user from the Reddit and my Discord, they, uh, it took them two months to complete this event tank. They are a very active user. They know what they're doing. They know, they, they make the guy, the Reddit guides usually. Uh, so they know what they're doing, and it took them two months. You, probably not that experienced, need to complete this event in one month, which I'm not sure is possible. Because you know what? You have to you have to open these gift boxes, which you're limited to two per day. So I don't really know what they were thinking with this event. This event is kind of a train wreck, if that was not very clear. Uh, and I am not very happy about it. I didn't want to spend the whole event complaining about it because, hey... I did a live stream where I spent the whole event, the whole video complaining about it. So check out my live stream on the event if you want a more critical angle of things. I'm kind of, I've already said my piece, so just watch that stream if you want. Just check out my, my past videos. And check out my non-Abyssrium stuff, by the way. A lot of people think, oh, Abyssrium is the only game I'll like. Try some other games. You'll, you'll be surprised, trust me. Anyway, um, this event, these are all pretty self-explanatory, except for the Isoi Puffers. Um, to get a second Asoi Puffer, you have to go through this list, right? You have to complete, you have to get these presents by watching ads. 
And you have to go all the way to the Prince of Abyss, watch 50 things, which is 25 days, by the way. Then you have to watch three more days worth of ads, 28 days worth of ads total. Now this event is probably going to last a month, unless they, you know, make it super long. Which would be very valid, I have no idea, they probably won't, because they usually do, you know, they usually do an event every month, but, yeah. Um... So that's how you get the Asoi Puffer. You have to completely loop around these gifts and just watch a ton of ads to uh, get them. So then once you get the second Asoi Puffer, and there's no other way you can't buy more with Vitality or anything. Once you buy the second Asoi Puffer, you just go into your saltwater tank from here. And then you go to manage fish and you put them in the tank and then you return here. And those kind of unlocks are really buggy. I've had to do that multiple times to get it to register. So keep that in mind. If you put them in the tank and it doesn't work, just go back to the other tank, store them again, take them out again, and it'll probably register. Um, then you have to reach CI Anniversary Tank Vitality, which good lord. I don't know if that is easy or difficult because I haven't actually gotten to that point yet. I'm still a little bit away from that. Um, there we go. I have polished my instruments. Not a euphemism. Now we have made the stage. Um, then you have to buy a total of... 150,000 anniversary tank levels, which again seems like a lot, but I'm not sure. I don't know exactly how long that will take. But again, see the see the past video. 10 AQ of candy, good god. Yeah, this is this is a lot of work. Let me tell you, this is the anniversary event thing. It's going to take you a lot of work, and if you didn't complete the anniversary tank last year, you will probably not be able to do this. I, I just have to make that perfectly clear. You will probably not have a good time here. I'm sorry for this noise. I'm so sorry for that noise. Um, yeah, this this is basically for if you already did the thing before. And fortunately, this is not required to get Cake Town Nessie. You're almost certainly going to miss fish in this event if that wasn't clear. I'm sorry for the noise. I don't know why it's so loud. Why has it got to be so loud? Let me mute it, in fact. Um, yeah, just... If you're used to getting all of the event fish, this event could honestly be really good for you because it could force you to be like, oh, I will never get all of the fish in this game because the f game is really player hostile and Flaro Games just keeps ruining the game. And uh, my advice, let yourself lapse one event. I've never cared. Uh, once I failed one event and I didn't get all the fish, I stopped caring. I was like, you know what? Who, who cares? Who cares if I don't finish the thing? And so I stopped caring, and it could help you a lot to just treat this game as something casual. To just fail this quest. It feels bad the first time, but after the first time, it doesn't affect you at all, let me tell you. So, that's right, Barker. I highly recommend, if you genuinely can't finish this event, just don't do it. Just let yourself fail. Just get, get whatever fish you think is reasonable and you think you would actually enjoy working to. Like I said, Cake Town Nessie... If you can complete prior events, you can probably get Cake Down Nessie. It'll be a little bit more work um, than previous events. But um, when, when you're talking the summer, fit, the summer Fairy from the other tank, that is a lot of extra work. That's like two extra events added into this one event. So you're playing like three events basically. Because the, the, the anniversary tank, it is already three different anniversary events crammed into one. So, you're playing, you're basically playing four events, really. And the game is not generous about that. The game is not like, here's four easy events because you're playing so many different events. The game is like, oh, here's four, take a drink here. Um, here's four super hard events. So that kind of sucks. I'm sorry to say, but it kind of sucks. Um, that's right, Parker. That's right. And the funny thing is, since they're in two different tanks, even if you buy the in-app purchase in this tank, it doesn't help you in the other tank. You're still screwed. It's great. Um, so yeah. Also, they added one good thing. One good thing in this update. Look how fast fish get created now. They cut the animation in, in a mere fragment. If you've already made a fish, the second time and all subsequent times that you make a fish, the anniversary, the, um, the anniversary, the animation is so much faster. Also, creating all four fairies, it doesn't do anything special. It just gives you the 100 pearls reward, which again, to make 
to make the 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 fall fairy, you're gonna use so many more than two one hundred pearls. It's ridiculous. So, I'm sorry to have an over half hour video, but this was a really complicated event. And there's still more to learn. If you didn't do the last event, you still have to watch the old video. It's so overcomplicated. They removed Flaro Games, I have to say. Flaro Games has no idea what made this game good. They don't know why we like the game. They don't know... Oh, sorry, that thing was covering the thing. Um, yeah, this is a written guide, by the way, if that wasn't clear. I always recommend the written guide over the um, video guide. The video guide's kind of like a catch-up on what's new. If you haven't played the game at all, check out the written guides please or at least watch like all of the video guides i do have video guides on every feature in the game but if you watch just the video guide i'm gonna assume that you know basically what you're doing to some degree so written guide is kind of more everything it covers everything but back to flaro games so flaro games bought the game a few months ago and i know about abyssrium world there's not much to talk about there I might do a little video on it, but it's literally a less than one minute teaser of a new game. Which, rest in peace Abyssrium Pole, because it's apparently going to be shuttered. At least I assume. I mean, we already have three games out now. But Flaro Games does not seem to have gotten why people like this game. I think what was great about this game is very casual. Um, all of the progress was basically just cast skills. And in events you would tap bubbles, and then you would tap the bubbles to create event fish. But then they changed it because they wanted you to watch more ads, so you have to watch ads of the Hermit Crab. Which, by the way, was really stupid because how do you cast Song of the Moon? You use the recharge skill button, so you're already watching ads. I, they're, they're ridiculous. But that's how events change under Cheetah Mobile, right? We had the Hermit Crab. Now Flaro Games takes over. They stopped doing Hidden Fish, which to me, would any of you be watching my channel if there weren't Hidden Fish? Would any of you know any other players that played Abyssrium, if, out, if not for Hidden Fish. How did you first look online and find a Hidden Fish, you know, a, an Abyssrium group on Facebook, uh, a subreddit, a Discord, a YouTube channel? It was probably because of the Hidden Fish, right? That It was a single player game, but it had a communal aspect because no one person could figure out all of these unlocks. So we had to talk to each other. So even though it was a single player game, we had a community. We kind of had a reason to talk to each other. And we had a lot of fun, in my opinion, um, talking to each other and figuring out all these crazy unlocks, like taking pictures of weird crap and, you know, turning your phone upside down, like tapping with your nose, just weird stuff. And I like that kind of stuff. It was like figuring out Pokemon um, evolution conditions, right? Like the one where you have to turn your 3DS upside down while it evolves. That's amazing. Um, but they stopped doing that. And the thing is, when they... It's not just that their fish aren't hidden. The fish unlocks used to be genuinely interesting. It used to be stuff like, oh, you know, you have to click the train real fast to make it go around. You had to, you know, um, send Christmas cards and stuff. And it's just really interesting things. And now it's just, oh, create three Jester Clownfish. Complete three bingo lines. Share three photos. Create three fish. It's just the same crap over and over and over. It's three pictures three fish or watch ads that's all there is that's all of them are there's nothing interesting there's not like oh place a, a, an expansion and like take a picture of a fish next to it or you know something creative and interesting that i can't think up on the spot in like two seconds something interesting you know and even hidden or no the the unlocks used to be enjoyable they used to be something to kind of like try to work through and figure out and now it's just make make the fish it's, they're, they're like normal fish, but even more boring, honestly. Like, you just make five of the previous fish. Make five of the previous fish. Make five of the previous fish. It's so fun. I love just making five of the previous fish. Uh, hopefully, Abyssrium World isn't like that, but Flaro Games... And again, if... Actually, for the first time in this video, uh, if you have problems with an event, tell them on Facebook. Or I think I think Flaro Games doesn't check their Facebook, which what a surprise. Flaro, Ga Flaro Games has been a total wreck. Uh, I guess emailing them, um, emailing their support has been the best way I've been told. Um, I haven't gotten a response either way, to be totally honest. Um, not to discourage you, but... Um, let them know. Let them know on Facebook or email, whatever's more comfortable for you. But I've, I've been told email is better. Um, like I said, I didn't get a response either way. But um, 
Yeah, let them know that this that you want hidden fish. If you do want hidden fish, let me them know that this event is too confusing. If you think it's too confusing, let them let them know your genuine feedback that you personally feel, um, because they're not going to change things if they don't hear back from people. If you don't want to buy an in-app purchase because the game is trying to force you to do so, definitely tell them that. Um, now I do want to say that the devs have no special contact with me. Um, they don't even, like I said, they don't even, they ignore my support requests even. They, there's no press relationship between me and them at all. Uh, it would be cool. I, w I would have re welcomed it, especially back when there was just Idle Idea Factory or even Cheetah Mobile. I did reach out a couple times and I was like, hey, your translation is really bad. You can use an editor. I would, I would love to be employed as an editor. I mean, it wouldn't even take a lot of effort to improve the writing a lot in this game. Um, and make things a lot less confusing, and I would be happy to do that, but, um, <laughs> never got back to me. But, um, yeah. That is the event- I hate- I hate this otter. I never thought I would say that, but I hate this otter. Just stop popping up. You can't turn him off, you can't do anything, it's there forever. And look at how clustered this UI is, it's a cluster. Someone said while I was streaming, which by the way, yeah, there was a live stream I did checking out the event. Um, so you can just check that on my channel. Um, there was a cl there. It's just it feels claustrophobic once the menu is open. It's just you get this like forty percent at most of the screen that's uninterrupted player. More like thirty percent. It's just so messy. And also this thing, you if you're trying to click the seaweed, you click the fairy event instead. It's so bad, especially because if you click this thing, it doesn't go. But if you click this thing, it does. Ugh. Anyway. Doing live streams this weekend, by the way, um, just a bit after I publish this video. We're going to be streaming Chaos Wars on Saturday, which is the day I release this. Um, that's going to be super fun. This game with terrible voice acting. It's really funny. Um, so either check out that live stream, or if you're in the future, check out the VOD for that. Um, that'll be ready. Um, and on Sunday, we're playing Ghost Trick, which is a super good mystery. That game's very near and dear to my heart. Um, that game... That game is... 100% style and 100% mystery. I love it. So, um, if you're looking for things to do, check out those streams. They'll be on the on my channel page. You can see whatever upcoming streams are. I always try to do them at least a week, if not two, in advance. If I'm not, you know, if I have a plan. So, I don't always have a plan. But see you there. Um, I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to finish this event, especially not the ferry. I, I'm not gonna buy any I purchased just for the ferry. Hopefully, they change that. I, I don't know if they will. But uh, here's hoping. Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, check out the written guide if anything was unclear. So you don't have to rewatch the entire video. Look at this. Th that's me. That's me. Just swimming in circles. That's me. <laughs> um, have a good time, everybody. Oh, and remember to like and subscribe for more videos and crap. Um, I hate to have to say that, but yes, it, it helps.